I want to make sure it works first. Yo, yo, what's happening for show radio? A little bit early, we know that, but you know how it goes because we're live now in two venues. Show radio is kicking it strong on FB Live as always, but we also are coming to you all on Instagram. So, Instagram folks, you got a live video popping right now. God, okay, cool. We got, damn it, I hate this damn setup. We got it. Now, I love it because he can't mug the camera and grab oh, it. Oh, I'll, hey, I'll mean Look mug. I'll mug mean. I'll do it all. So, we just count down to 805, and that's official start for those of you who are early. Hey, that's beautiful. Man, please don't talk. Shake the table. Shake the table. All right, 805. What's going on, fam? What up, Sans? Keith Calhoun. This is for show radio. He is the Cardinal. Strike a pose, bitch. I am me. And oh, I see. I, I'm getting it. Right? What up, Q? And I'm saying we got people. Oh, they coming in now. Kids. They Keith. coming in. And Matt, what's going on? How you doing? Congratulations. They coming. Uh, Kiana's they here. Coming. We about to make it happen tonight. Oh, Keisha, I'm so glad you're here. Because when we go to this age. Y'all see my freshly shaved I goat. want you there. All right, Ooh. well, we're going to go on and, you know, kick it off. What? If this is your first time, <laughs> she said you're back. I'm man. back, damn it. <laughs> if this your Looking first time, good as ever. Watch it for show sure, radio family. They call this uh, insect the cardinal day. Oh, I am the cardinal. Just let him just say why. You know, well, thank you very much. We never yeah, go over this, funny. but since he mentioned it, oh, I think okay. I let me go on into this. Okay. I am Cardinal Dave, leader of the Church of the Conspiracy, mm -hmm. where we believe that everything is fixed from sports to politics. Really? And when I say strike a pose, why would you say that, bitch? It's question? because I want to make you famous. Uh -huh. And somebody needs to make you famous Because you look famous? like that runway model That walks down the aisle And then they say strike a pose you bitch And then they send her to Japan And let Godzilla kick her right what in up, the Dante? ass Alright hey My happy hey you people are here today Look we got a lot of topics we're going to get into Some of them are fun some of them more serious I want to thank all you that showed up last week without this vermin. We had a fantastic oh, show. Oh, no, no, you didn't. We had we gonna a talk fantastic about that too. show. And I love y'all. I want you to know that just because he's back and he pretty much is, is frivolous. We back to normal. We still going to kick some real topics. So we back, we back to normal. I thought you know, I was sick uh, last week. I really kind of I wanted to like roll with it. Thank you for sharing. You are a disgrace. As always, hey, this is your time. You watching this, his share. His share, let share the man, this share now. this thing, share. I do apologize for his language, but tag I and you. share. This is one of the realest shows you're gonna see. I don't Friday use night. no language. Right. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking you about. What I'm Jesus Christ! And, you know, whatever with that. Look, no more topic we're gonna talk about. And this is his. Why Black History Month is a sham. Do not agree, but we'll see what he has to say. Garbage. Number two, we're gonna talk about your top ten most influential Black people. Ever, well, black Americans ever, oh, or African American yeah. history ever. Post your, your list, ever. Post your list, whatever your top your ten black yeah. influential well, Negroes. We're gonna do that right to say. Well, they can post them. No, they no, take no, no, these people it's time. Gonna, it's gonna go too far. Listen, a lot of these people aren't that bright. They need Next time. Next, we're gonna deal with like AAU. This. Is this good or bad? Are we talking about now AAU, not back in the day when a lot of us played. Even in the nineties, when people played, <laughs> it was good. Uh, us. Well, you didn't. <laughs> you damn sure did. You sound stupid. Yeah, did. Where's your water bottle at? Okay. <laughs> that was a shit. I want to have this conversation with sports parents. I know it's something out there being one. This fool, I put up AU. He starts talking about CTE. That's right. That's where understand. it starts. There's no AU football. Well, that's where it starts. What, they can't get CTE we're in not, basketball? We're, we're not talking about concussions. We're talking about. That's a part of we're it. We're talking about parents pressuring kids. Living their dreams through their kids. And leads to We're talking CTE. about the money. Man. Well, you know, we get there, we get into the topic. Yeah. So, anyway, that, Charles Oakley. What up, Steph? In Madison Square Garden. We'll get into that. Big Chuck. If you didn't see it, go right now to the site, you know, so, to the little clip. Check it out. He's been well, banned. Let's go. They banned him. This dude bailed on us because he got scared to come with this topic last week. So, we're going to let him start it off. He thinks mm -hmm. the month of February, dubbed Black History Month, yeah. is a sham. I hope you don't come with that same old stale argument, but I give up the floor to the dude. So go ahead. No, thank you very much. And I'll just wait for your uh, constant interruptions okay. because whenever I come with the truth, he always he wants no to come truth. and interrupt my You're shit. You're allergic to truth. Okay. What up, Shay? 
All right, Shay, what's happening? Shay tuned in just to hear this, so I'm going to go on and oh, come with it. It is February. Happy Black History Month to all of y'all out there that don't know anything about W.E.B. Du Bois and Martin Luther Woodson. King. That's right. Carter G. Woodson, Fannie Lou Hamer. If you don't know anything about those people, you don't have to do a goddamn thing for the 11 months of the year because in February, we going to load you up with them. And that's all, all right, we're going to sit the little boys and the little girls down history. and we're going to talk to so, them about right. Frederick Douglass and everything and all that blah 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 repetitive shit. Thing? It is a horrible thing how because that, what you're saying is that you got one month to do your thing and the other 11, this is the subliminal the other 11 is white history month so, or everybody else's history if, month but not month? yours nigger boy. We use the n word on this no, show you by do the way. You're ignorant. We need to give what, them the uh, new phone number. No, I got a question. So what if Bringing all this up in this month sparks people's, you know, interest or attention oh, to do further on. research. Because this has been going on for decades. Okay. And, and it ain't sparked a goddamn that's, that's thing. A lie. That's a straight up It's lie. a joke, if man. If any of you have ever had anything positive happen or you learned something in Black History Month you didn't know, please type yeah, in. Yeah, please, yeah, please post that. And when that happens, that'll no be one, in the eighth no grade. Because the, the script has not changed. What script? What's the script? It's the script is Martin Luther King, W.E.B. Du Bois. I know when his birthday is. I know all that, but I'm saying we wait until February to talk about him. It's the script, okay? No. W.E.B. Du Bois, Harriet Tubman, and the Tubway. I mean, we talk about all What's that the, shit. What's the Tubway? The tub, well, that's the Underground Railroad. The that's the nickname that they call it the Tubway. You, you don't know that? nothing about that. No, that's what she they called it. Kim. Weighing in, she came up with like, the, all we do is learn first something Monica. good know so we can post it next year on Facebook. Okay. Is that good though? I mean, if somebody Thank picks you, it Kim. Up, good I mean, I, I, I and you know, and you know what, Kim? We could take this tape that I'm giving right now and run it back in February of 2018, and the shit will still remain just, just like Metallica said, and the shit remains the same. Bro, you got, I didn't you shake got to the table. Topic, man. Yeah, but I'm just telling you, you Metallica is Black History. All you I'm saying is this: what up, Black man? History What's Month up, is a sham because you. you go into it, especially if you are a child. And we try to pull the wool over the eyes with Santa Claus and and all that bullshit. You know what, what I'm really? saying? What are you talking about? Well, what I'm talking about is the repetitive nature of the same regurgitated bullshit okay. that goes let me, on let me, over let me throw and this, over let me throw this again. Because I see some people are agreeing with him. Let me As they this. should. Let me, let me just ask you this. If you agree with him, which I see his point, I don't agree. Yes, you do. Um, Just like the movie Hidden Figures, we never knew. But let me say this. Why don't y'all bring something new for Black Well, Hidden Figures here? came out hold last second, month. Hold on a second. Why don't all of you who say that, why don't you research something to bring something new? Why don't you contribute to Black History? But I'm not saying you don't. But I'm saying if you feel that That's way. That's exactly what no, he's saying. No, I'm not. I'm saying but if you feel that way, why don't you bring something to contribute to Black why History? Why do we, why does it have to be February? Why, are why you, can't we my, just my do this January, March, April, May? No, they don't. Then why do, do we have this then? Why do we have Black History? So month? just because you why? take one month to really single out means you can't do anything in your We're not singling out. We're singling out a script. No, it's not a script. Which is, it is a script. I'll tell you one thing, one of our for sure radio family does. Every day this month, Kelly Miner has flipped the script on Black History Month. She's going personal, personal mentors, people in her life. She's doing a profile on every single one of them every day. And that's not the script because there's people you And that's know. a beautiful thing. So I'm saying. But I bet she could do it in March. I'm saying, uh, uh, who says she won't? She could do it in July. And I bet show. she does because we know how intelligent she is. If it's down, if you down for it, you're going to do it all year anyway. So it doesn't matter. Then I mean, why I, even have a February? Do you why do this do shit? You, do you not understand one and one? No, I don't understand the, the meaning of it. Why can't I still celebrate in February but do it all year if I want to? What's the, what's the Why don't you do it all year anyway and enlighten what's, yourself all year? The you need all the enlightening you can get. I must so, have I mean, a show with you. Uh, shut your mouth. So I'm, we waited two months, for, I mean, two weeks for you to not say nothing because that was nothing. Well, not, what do you mean it's not nothing? All them people coming on there and agreeing with me. Yeah. How is that not nothing? Three people said you have a point. Well, those are three people that I may have to induct into the goddamn church. That's yeah, what I'm talking what about. Go, I mean, listen. But that made no sense. 
All I'm saying is it's a sham. All I'm saying it's a sham because what you're doing is you are programming young people just like you do with your Santa Claus shit. You're programming people Mm -hmm. to believe that this is what your month is. Little black nigga, little white nigga, little Mexican nigga. This is what you get. You get a month to learn about these black asses because in March it's back to business again. You came with that same. But this is the same shit. Years ago. That's Women's time. Month and I think it's good. Mexican Week it's good. and all that bullshit. It's all bullshit. Hold on, we'll read some well, comments what do you think Cinco de Mayo is? Steph says, my friend says, why is it in February? Because we don't have a whole month to occupy ourselves because people are preoccupied with Valentine's Day. And I just look at it like oh, this. Oh, Steph, I don't know about this that. This is the starting point. Steph, it's were you trying to make oh, a up, funny? Shut were up, you up, making a funny, Steph? I'm just saying. This I way. give Valentine's uh, more credit than fucking Black History Month. Why? Well, I mean, it's that dope, really sounded stupid. Please no, tell me why. Because, I, know, I know you just said because at say least why. at least as stupid as Valentine's Day is, it's one day. It's man made. And it's some bullshit. But it's one day, and you can what's just say, ah, "What's well, not man made?" Well, Black History Month certainly That's, is. That, so they're both man made. No, well, I mean, you know what I meant, Nick, bro. Valentine's Day, the Emmys, the Super Bowl. Blah. But if that's where you are, then all that stuff, it's just one more thing for you, then. Well, the Super Most Bowl actually fluctuates. Five. They Super just Bowl moved that to February. It's sometimes January 31st and January. all that. Is Steph, you were you trying for? to be funny. I don't think so. I mean, listen. What up, Nelson? Listen, for y'all that hey, just family, joined in, I, I know that that's you all I do believe so. that I'm saying the truth. Black History Month is a joke. You Shane have been programmed. Let me see. Shane says Black History Month was born out of a deficit. Agreed. Most reactionary acts are lacking. We need to re envision it. Thank that's, you. That's what I'm proposing. Well, I don't have a problem. Let's re envision it. Not, I'm and, once, and once we re envision it, why don't we obliterate it? Why? Just like the name of the NAACP. Maybe we oh need to God. revisit that really? crap. Are you in the NAACP? Uh, yeah. Hell no, because I'm not colored. Because I'm not colored. You but in if, it? If you're not are in you colored? Group, if you're not in the group, why? This Black History Month, let's talk about it. Are you colored? Again, if you're not in the group, why? You know, if, I don't. If a okay, if a if a this. white man came up to you and said, "Excuse me, uh, colored man, I'm looking for directions to 285," would you slap him upside his goddamn no. head, or would you uh, say, "Well, sir, if you just the go West straight says down now there"? The devil. <laughs> well, you gonna call me a colored man? Well, that's an outstanding answer. But they don't. Do they have an organization for grafted Ooh, devils? Yes, they do. What, what's the they, name of? Uh, United Knights of Ku Klux Klan. Well, I mean, it don't have the word grafted devil in it. That's my point. They put the word colored in there. And by the way, I that's think I, I, the white folks created the NAACP calling us oh damn colored. And we no, just accept any fucking topic. thing. You hate me on the topic. Uh, this is the topic. It's Black History Month. Is he making any sense, producer? I think it's making a whole lot of goddamn it's sense. None. It's not, how, how am I not making sense? Because this is what I'm saying to you. If you got a problem with it, why don't you make it what you want it to be? I don't I want it to hold die. Hold on, hold, on, hold on. Instead of just trying to tear everything down, you consistently I want negative, to tear this down. Consistently negative. Why don't you make it what you want it to be? It's I I do want to I want to make it. No, you said make it what I want it to do. Complain. I want to make it do. This do. is what you do with every topic. This is not every topic. I want it to complain. That's right because you know what? I'm into destroying uh-huh. and reinventing. Oh, you know just gotta, like Shay said, reinvent we got Something new, new. We need to hear from some people. We got a new phone line. I'm sorry, y'all. 404 697 7048. I want you. Wait here, family. Can Start somebody post that him. number? Is he wrong? Am I wrong? 404 697 7048. That's our new number. He's saying, saying thank you, Katrina. It. He's saying get rid of it. I'm saying make it what you want it to be. That's Good job, I'm James. Saying. The National Association for the Advancing of Caucasian that, People. I just say how so. That's a wonderful thing. I, I just say how so. Good man. job. I just, it's just a whole lot Good of Good job, J.B. Officer James Byrne. I respect you. Thank you, I, Kim. I just ask, what do they do? Okay, so now we need y'all to use the number. Use we the number. We appreciate y'all for calling. And by the way, for those of you all who just showed up, share. Tag and Damn, share. I'm right with you. Why are some people mad about Valentine's Day? You either participate or not. Oh, I'm not mad at it. I feel the same way about I'm baby. not mad at it. I'm in the day is by love. Love your is that Because I know y'all gonna shower me with shit. He does a lot of loving himself, yeah. <laughs> so you let him in. Well, it depends. Right. Depends on what time of the night it is. 
No one uh, has any comments on his ridiculous black history. It's Open not. Ri- it's not ridiculous. You see, no one. No one is even weighing. Well, in. they well, they do this every week. No a lot one, of these people are no scared to goddamn call in. Uh, I understand. You know, you don't want to deal with the cardinal, but in, so you know, I you know. Hey. My producer is signaling to me, so we gonna go on and move on to a real topic. All right. In honor, in honor of Black History Month, we want you all to name. Your top 10 most impactful African American. I love you too, Gail. Your top 10. Thank you for sharing, Gail. Um, our top 10 most impactful African American. I've, I've been waiting on Percy, this. Personally, I don't have an issue with Black History Month. I see his point. He has Thank you, Steph. Point. His point is just way off skew because this thing is. We'll just let it go all together. I, I, I that's, have, that's ridiculous. You talk about some black history. Why, why I, have a, that that? I have a point. It's, very it's about 11 inches. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so let's move forward. In honor of African American History Month, no. who are your top 10 African Americans? Now, some of you already posted. We put it up yesterday. Got a great response. Don Tan, some others. I got mine. Post the folks who are most influential as far as you're concerned as African Americans. You know, I'm going to read you his list. I'll read my list at the end, but we don't want to skew what anybody else is thinking. Read you know your, I'm going to read my own damn list. Oh, I don't sorry. want you reading my list. Hey, read you, been, you, you read the I wrong name. You. Okay. Okay, we do like on those those four, those, oh, uh, those shows. Six, nine, Start seven, from the bottom up because seven, the oh, suspense four, is killing you. Okay, my top ten. And since it's Black History Month, oh, Black oh, Ass oh. History Month, here's my Top hey, ten list of influential blacks. This okay, you know what? I'm gonna do my list because your list is straight ridiculous. Can my I list that? is not ridiculous. Well, go ahead. Let's I, hear your generic I, I list. I, Let's hear this. My list is not generic. But Same list as everybody else's. Agree, disagree, what have you? Look, y'all. The honorable mentions. I start with the honorable mentions. Oh my God! What is the top thirty? Thurgood Marshall, Isaiah Lord Thomas the Third. Can y'all know about that? Uh, Coleman Alexander Wait Young. As much as you like Isaiah, you couldn't put him in the top ten. Fannie Lou Hamer, Reginald Lewis. Well, what did she do? Basquiat, the artist, Oprah, what? Fab Five Freddy. Now, my top ten. Fab but, oh. Five Freddy. Oh yes, sir. Influential, impactful. Oh my God. Bringing the culture worldwide. My top ten for real though. No particular order. <sighs> Marcus Garvey. You we should all today. That's right. Go ahead, man. Gail got a good point. We want all today. That, go and go with five, and I'll go with five. Go, go for your ten. Okay, five, okay, good job, Gail. Yeah, okay, look at that. now, uh, yes, starting, yeah, starting at the bottom, now we're here. Oh, good, good. Number ten, Dudley Dickerson. Who is Dudley Dickerson? Man, y'all don't even want to know. He was that big, fat, greasy black brother that used to come on the Abbott and Costello he show and on Three out. Stooges. He used to bug his eyes show. out. That lion scratched him in the ass on the train. He said, oh, oh my God, I'm losing my mind. He couldn't wait. He was very influential to me because I am an actor. All right, now I'm going to do this one. Here. And I looked at him and I said, I want to do that. We'll do it just like this. Uh, down at the bottom for me was a tie. Between Nasir Jones, Nas, Muhammad Ali. Ali and Nas on Time. the same list? Go ahead. What's your next oh, one? Come on. We're waiting on y'all because you know. Number nine, Lando Calrissian. Really? And y'all so, think I'm making so a joke. Fictional no, it's not fictional. We're because if you take. Okay, well, you take. Well, well and off camera. But, you, you but you I mean, look. About Ali. Well, I mean, let's take a look. The last. all the, the first three Star Wars movies, how many black people were in it? Lando was in two Empire Strikes Back. Well, that's okay. They talked about him in the first one. How many black people were in those three movies? Two. Lando Calrissian wow. and Darth Vader, yeah, and the only reason why I didn't use Vader is because we only got the voice. We didn't get the full force. But Billy D. Lando yeah. Calrissian is number nine on my list. In, and, in history. And Leah did say that in he history. knew how to uh, work What's a saber. Very good to see you. Okay, moving forward. Uh, Malcolm X. Okay. Hey, no, that's I mean, that, that's, that's, that's self explanatory. Okay. Uh, all right, number eight for me, Nile Rogers. Who the fuck is Nile Rogers? Really? Well, you need That's to you guy. need to yeah. look up your Literally. Duran Duran because Duran Duran, who ran the pop eighty scene, okay, wow, they ran that shit. The whole blue eyed soul British invasion, yeah. Duran Duran ran it, and Nile 
Rogers was their producer, and he came up with all that funky shit that y'all like. Her name yeah. is Rio, yeah. and and uh, uh, sail prayer for the morning. All those black hits in '98 in Detroit and all that. They used to play that shit. Thank so you. don't front. '93 actually. Um, WJLB was '98. It oh. wasn't JLB back then. It was '93, something the early '80s. No, it, no, they were still WJLB. DRQ used to bump. What well, DRQ now. and WJLB was the same I don't damn station. Really Listen, these dumbass people in Mississippi don't know okay. what you're it talking about. Forget um, them. Number eight for me, and I struggled to put this in there, but I had to. Barack Obama. Why? Because he's still, regardless of what we may think, See, he you, was you, you a black You put him in president. there just because he was a nigger. That's the only reason hey, why I'm, you put him in. I don't even agree with that word at all. <laughs> well, but I think he was. I think he did, I think he did what he could do, and I really think in those eight I years, think that's he did disgraceful. Post-prime. I, I think, think so. that's well. That's that's what's fine. up, John? Good Show to see you, bro. Show Good to see you. Go, come on. Okay, bro. my number seven. <laughs> O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson. Post football. Not even like the good O.J. Post football. Why? <laughs> well, I'll tell you why. Basically. Because O.J. Simpson was the one that got me started to realize that there will be a race war in this country. Really? Because the verdict of O.J. Simpson split this country in half to the point where you motherfuckers finally got a chance no, you, to see it. I struggle with Obama because I think he left a lot on the table. We done went through that. We have everything on the table. That's what they do. I left a lot on the table. Oh, yo, call in, please. If y'all don't like my OJ, call. 697-7048. Because we, it's the most. 404-697-7048. Y'all know it by heart. I know it by heart. Call. Uh, Next. I'm waiting on OJ to call. MLK. And yes, he did it. MLK. Say the juice is on the loose. Juice locked up. Mm. Martin Luther King. Mm-hmm. Another was self-explanatory, but I'm going off most impactful. You know, and that's why I called his list generic. These are the same damn no, names not. that you hear during Black History well, Month. It's the a same reason damn, you same damn. It's, name. A, it's a reason because it's a script. Time. Because it's a no, script. What they choose to share with him is a script. Like no. I don't even know Martin Luther King had a pistol. Once his house got fired by him, he straight up applied for a government. He wasn't going to let nobody run up in there. Well, then how come, how come they won't teach but, that in school? Well, because you got some things you learn on your own. Education, oh, come on. They don't want to teach that. Education is not about what I feed you. Education is about oh, what yes, you go discover. That, and that's exactly why yes, you are where you are. Yes, it is. Because you well, just what, you then, like a bird. Just drop a worm then, in your mouth. Then, then what you're saying, depending, you drop in some honey first and mm-hmm. put it in something else. Right. I mean, listen, the bottom line, what are we on, number six? No, I'm not... I don't have an order. You just all my. Well, you six. just you got more than ten. You just okay, making up okay, stuff. Okay, watch after this one. after OJ, that's right. Get ready for this one. Oh. Are you sitting down, you motherfucker? Number five or whatever number we on? George A. Romero, who's not black, but has made some good movies. But George A. Romero, so the he, founder of. The uh, zombie movement the here in this country. He's the one that originated really these zombie movies. Well, he didn't do. He just made the first popular one. Well, okay, then then fine. Did you know about yeah. any other zombie movies before Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, or Day of the Dead? Dude, no, you did born, not. Fool. I mean, you've been you've been haunting this earth oh, a long shut time. Shut up, nigga. I mean, the, why would I say George A. Romero? Because you're stupid. Because in Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and Day of the Dead. Every single one of them, Please the last no, character to live was a black man. No. Everybody else died. Not Don't that, say no. No, that, that one with the shopping mall, it wasn't. Van Rain. Yes, it was. Van oh, that was a remake. That's, that's Van Romero. Romero no, 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 no. I'm t- no, Van- Romero did not do Who the remake. The next one, okay, so uh, a black me, man lived in all three of those movies. Next one for me. The only one to live. My parents. He's black as far as I'm parents, concerned. Straight up in, Romero. in my life. I would hope all of you could say the same thing, you know. My parents, but see, that goes without that. saying. That's why no, that's I said you shouldn't even put that down. No, there. because some people that would not be. Well, true. fuck them. That's I mean, that's ridiculous. No, 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 I'm no, saying no, no. everybody should have their parents on. Well, some people's parents are assholes. You don't have it on but yours. But I mean, well, because it's self explanatory. That's why you didn't need to have it's it on not, yours. It's self explanatory. It is. No, it's very, it's a very real thing. I'm not just saying it because they birthed me and raised me. I'm saying it from straight up lessons, life examples, some for real outside of this. And I'm saying okay. that that's self-explanatory. No, 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 it's not. 
Because everybody don't have that. Okay. Well, then, so they, then they don't have to put it on their list. And some, then, well, what, isn't that basically what I said? No, I ain't know what I'm I know this one up. put George Romero as one of the top ten most. And important. I just gave a goddamn good-ass reason for it, too. Move forward, man. Who's your next one? Well, you know what? I think, Katrina, I think they agree with O.J. Simpson and George A. Romero, must, and that's why they haven't they called. Must, you know, you scared. Y'all scared. Seven, y'all scared. Y'all scared of the Cardinal. Do I frighten you? I should. You know, because we had a bunch if of If that frightened you, watch this. <laughs> really? That frightened you, too? We had a lot of okay, calls last Friday. I, I'm sorry I brought this food back. Shut this up. Is what we okay, we are on now, this is my next one. Now, this is not ridiculous. I got a tie, and really, it shouldn't even... You didn't even put you didn't put mine in order, but fuck it, yes, I'll just I say no. I, no, you skip one. No, okay, uh, the next Louis Farrakhan <laughs> and Elijah Muhammad. That's a tie. That's a lie. Why? Because Elijah that's Muhammad laid lie. down the foundation that's of the lie. nation of Islam, and Minister Louis Farrakhan, the Honorable Dude, Minister Louis Farrakhan, line. carried on his work. He didn't carry that's on his work. Straight, man, I'm, I'm Who sorry. carried it on then? I'm being rude. Finish your. And he's thing. still and he's still carrying it Finish on. The crap and thing. he's 82 years old, looking like he's 30. Oh really? Yeah, that's God. That's that's he didn't God. Look like right he was there. 30 when he was 30. Okay, well, seeing that, why do you want to insult me? I'm not well, why, yes, you are. You why would you, why would you why insult me? Why would you put them on the same level? I'm not, they're not, they're on the same level. You put Nas and Muhammad Ali on the same damn level. Yeah, you put the clown from the Three Stooges that screamed. Well, he's, he's on a level by himself. Anyway, I don't put he must plant his feet in fertile soil. All right, check it out. Um, after my parents. That's right. Russell Simmons. That should be self-explanatory. I don't have a problem with that. Do you Russell have a black Simmons. card? Russell Simmons. You need your black card revoked. Your black ass, too. And why? Well, I mean, just because you are you. Okay. Nigga, you're number one. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, re- I really. Russell you. Simmons, well, you, you can't shake yes, the table. Yes. I mean, listen, the bottom line is this. <laughs> John Rivers said buckwheat. I'm shocked you got on his <laughs> list, man. I'm shocked. If I could have, if I could if a top yeah. 20, a top 20 buckwheat would have been yeah, on I'm there. sure, top two. Okay. Move on. Um, next, yours truly, Cardinal Day. Really? I am on my own list. Why? That's because sad. I love me some that's motherfucking me. That's and I now. influence myself to come here and deal with him, mm. to deal with you, but to come and to run my church. Okay? No. To run it so eloquently so that you people will understand what the hell is going How on in this world. How you run a church eloquently? Well, I mean, hey, it's not easy. Do you have a building? You've been talking about It's not. I don't need that. See, a that's what that's what's wrong with is you. There a, you a, don't need a, a building. The church work. is in you. Is there a creed? That's in every biblical okay. book, the Bible, a the building, Quran. Every, how many biblical every books? Every biblical book. How many, that's right. How many biblical? Oh, that's about books five or it? six of them. But okay. some of y'all will read any goddamn you, thing. You name but the well, books there's the Bible. There's the Quran. That's a. So the Quran is biblical. That's right. There's the Talmud. That's what the Jews read. Now, what did the chinks read? Uh huh. You just said these are biblical. Well, the chinks got their books so too. I'm saying, well, you know. Hey. What do they read? Y'all like them for real. I mean, <laughs> let's see. I know. Um, next one, I'm actually do Tuesday at Tuesday. They got them little funny of, houses and shit. I can't read that. Tubman, man. Straight up warrior. The tubway. Straight up warrior, Harriet Tubman, and Nat Turner. Nat they on the same list. Or, now I know some of y'all are making you know what identify with Nat Turner, Harriet Tubman. They together. Okay. You know? Um, the movie was a major disappointment. But I for didn't real. see it. Exactly. Really, dang, the biblical books. Um, well, that, that's right. Look it up. You, you know what I meant. Exactly. The, what's the point? I don't... Well, Chinks... Just, just say stuff like I mean, you know, I, you know what I meant. I mean, what, what do you no. want me to say? Japs? I mean, well... See? Same thing. See? Um... I got, Elijah, I got Elijah Muhammad. Well, wait a minute. Can I, I don't, read no, one? I'm trying to make them so they're together, dude. You have I think you skipped one of mine. Elijah. Yeah, Don King. Now, actually, Don King would make my top. I would. He'd be in my top 20. He'd be my top no, he'd be in my top 20. But you can't say he wasn't an influential Negro. He very much is. Elijah Muhammad. I don't put Elijah Absolutely. Muhammad 
on the same. I don't put Farrakhan on the same level as Elijah Muhammad. They, they're not level. What are you talking about? No, I'm you, saying you he continued tie. his work. I don't feel that way. That well, it was a tie because it's a con- why, one is a continuation of the Muhammad other. Why Muhammad took the nation much further than Farrakhan? Oh, why was Muhammad damn near ran it into the ground? Oh, no, he did. The, the nation actually enjoyed his most prosperous. Why did, no, no, he did not. That's you a lie. He don't know no better. The goddamn, the, I'm going to say the goddamn no, no, man, because no, no, no. the Wallace Muhammad, cool. well, he was cool. But I mean, he, he damn near ran man. it into the ground, no, and did. that's why up, Jerry, he stepped time, down. Man. I'm glad you're back. I know football. He no stepped down on his own. No, that's not what happened. Well, that is what happened. No, but it's cool. Damn it, I was there. Elijah Muhammad alone for what he had to do in the world. That's right, I eat all, eat to live. And from coming. It, it, who wrote that? Elijah Muhammad, fool? Well, of course, I, damn it, I know that. Okay, then. I so own the book. Do you eat to live? Don't put a creator do you eat to live? on the same level as a leader. Don't do that. Do you have anything else to say? Yep. What's your last one? Well, my last one? This is after well, actually, no, there's two. There's two. I got oh, okay. two. One, well, this is number two, Donald J. Trump. And I really could have had Trump. And that's right, I said it. And I really could have had Trump on the same level as OJ because they both are doing the same thing. See, OJ showed you, he has showed you the division in this country. That's what OJ did. Go ahead. Trump has done something that Farrakhan or nobody else could do. That is actually bring black people together. We are all pretty much on one accord that he's out of his mind. You know, at least we think. And so Trump is, he he's an innovator. He really? did something that nobody else can do. Now, you got to put him on the list. Why would you make Donald Trump on the list of He's on my goddamn list. He, he's on this list. is not, fuck that African-American no, that, word. That's I don't use word. that word. Okay, did you ever hear KRS-One? He said America is not your home. Okay, but why is he on the list of top ten black folks? He's not black. Well, he's influential. He's See, I know I understood this to be influential, influencing a black man. That's that one. I am a black what? man. <laughs> I'm as black as they motherfucking get. That's an education that you shut up. You, you get educated. That's why divorces. People, uh, family. This dude just said Donald Trump. That's right. <laughs> is one of the most influential African Americans ever. Brought us together. <laughs> and right, I you know he is orange. He's but so orange is a shade called, of black. I think I might have got this from Evan, the Dorito and Chief. And wait a minute. You called the Dorito and Chief. And since uh, we But wait a minute. What? Since we he is a person that since talks. we did talk about the honorable Elijah Muhammad. No, finish, man. Didn't what well, that's directly related to Trump. No, finish. Didn't he say that white, the recessive, comes from black? So that means Donald Trump comes from black. So technically, they all black. That's why I can use him. Oh. And just like they said, he's orange. So oh, no, makes he's sense. colored. Yeah, no, so we sense. could put him in the NAACP okay. because that's for colored people. You know what? This has been one quiet show. Well, they're scared to call. 404 Aido, get up. You in California. Can at least one show. of y'all call? Evan, for call God's show. sake. We That's usually get about seven or eight, nine, ten uh, calls Boris. at least. <laughs> okay. I do you call it Boris too. That's right. That's right. Orange, Orange is the, is the new, new black. black. <laughs> That's right, Kim. That's been a lot. Now of the Spike night. Lee would not make That's my list. He make mine. Spike Lee would not make my Besides list. Besides being a horrible filmmaker, he is an innovator. Think of all he didn't people. you didn't put him on your list? I said he would. We would be top ten. But, but he didn't. Look at more famous than Spike Lee's movies, which went from mediocre to awful. Think of all the people he's brought into the game. Now that you can't deny. I mean, okay, I give him, I give him that, but he didn't teach them how to act. If matter. you want to say he put a camera in front of them and, and gave them the shine, he okay, fine. To, he brought them to he brought them to light. Okay, well, I mean, he's, he's done that. Okay, okay we'll go. Okay, well, okay. okay. I can't even argue with that. So I can't even argue with that. But his movies are unwatchable. And I don't like what he did with that. What's her name? Michelle Crissette? What? Is that her name? The one that he banned from because she went and sang at the damn Donald oh, Trump thing. Ain't gonna ban anyone from well, he banned her from banned one of her songs from his stupid soundtrack for some shit that he's making. Oh, like we got a call. Oh, whatever. Yes. They scared the fucking call. Oh yes. Kenyon is called oh, Strike Up Pose. Kenyon, oh, what it is, oh, man? Is on there. What's, what's going on, Kenyon? Oh, what's going on, fellas? What's happening, what's man? Happening, what's happening, man? What's happening, man? Man, not much on my way back to Knoxville from out in the field as usual. Grinding. Be safe, uh, man. Be safe. For sure. Uh, oh, for sure. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. Definitely. 
Uh, before I begin, though, I want to uh, give a shout out to my boy Rod Motley, though, man. Yes, you sir. Know, oh, for real, you know, mm -hmm. to my ice cold brothers at the e e H chapter at e M U. Hey, man, that 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 dude was one of a kind. You know, so I had a chance to really, you know, sit down and rap with that cat on. You know, he was good people. But all right, not changing the subject. But uh, getting back to what y'all was talking about. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, every month is Black History Month. That's right. And it's up to the it's up it's up to the individual to, That's to right. seek the knowledge right. for themselves. That's right. That's right. First and foremost, it, it comes from the home and from all these cats that that went to college and all that. You got to teach these kids, man. Yes, Whether sir. It's your kid or somebody you know just out here in the neighborhoods and stuff, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. It's all about accountability and taking initiative. If, if, if everybody wants, you know, things that to, to get, you know, somewhat in better shape than what it is. You know, cause it is fucked up. It is what it is. But hell, fucked up. One thing I've learned about mm. our ancestors and what we need to start doing is learn how to adapt and survive out here. Like, That's right. Really survive, you know, put those egos aside, you know, and don't get caught up in this mainstream madness, you know. Right. It's a lot of it's a lot of madness going on, you know, through through all different type of mediums. You know, we all know that, you know, especially the ones that went to school and for the ones that didn't go to school that got a little bit of consciousness going on. You know, it's time to step the fuck up, plain and simple. And well, and I like what you said, man. It's twelve months, man. Twelve months out the year. You know what I'm saying? He said every day should be Black History Month. It is. Oh, it is. What, it what, is. Well, according, not according it to you. Always, it is. No, you, you, you want this stupid you know. talking. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we sorry, man. We just trying to bring it to a flow. But that wasn't the way we wanted yeah, to Yeah, we didn't you, mean to cut you off so like please, that. Sorry, oh, man. man. We, we had it some... wasn't, you know, we, we got a new <laughs> producer, man. And she was trying to figure out how to cut it. Yeah. She cut it. She's very efficient. We sorry, brother, but we did get that point. And we sorry. glad, man, because Let's I know you tried to get in a couple yes, of weeks man. ago, too, man. Can you At least you had the, call, the balls to call. call. God. Damn. Every day is uh, black. Nikita, day. we didn't hang up. That was. And Nikita, yeah, what are you? Is this. Is this okay, we're back. back. What's up, Kenya? And he's back. <laughs> no, you got to answer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, yeah. Get back. Uh, as far as like Valentine's, man, that ain't nothing but a scam. That's, that's just for chicks, you know, yeah. to get, you know, get more gifts and get cash and all that other shit. Yeah. 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 No, Valentine's Day. Hallmark Day. You know, but as far as like that, you know, that's just another, you know, way of spending. Money, you know, chicks can use it to their advantage, you know. Hey, man, man, we have now, no as far as like, now as far as like, yeah, 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 some of you ladies get offended. Hey, I'm just speaking, <laughs> you know, it's what's on my mind. It is what it is. I call it like I see it. So wait a minute, wait a minute, Kenyon, uh, Kenyon, let me, let me, let me, let me ask you: Are you, are you, are you gonna, you gonna give your lady something for Valentine's Day, or are you gonna tell her, look, this is Hallmark, baby, we ain't doing that. We, how you gonna well, do it? You know. You know, I, if anything, I will, you know, just to, just to prevent any, any fire. <laughs> you know, you know, you're hear, you going to hear their mouth regardless. You know, I'll shoot her, you know, a card and might, you know, wire some, some, some roses. But I'm the type now, I just give her some bread and she just go do what she do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure she's going to be happy with it. And you know what, man? And something else. Thanks a lot, man. We gonna we gonna try and move to another call. Appreciate that. Hey, get some Sherry's berries. Them motherfucking things is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause I hey, look, I Why ordered. I got. Some, paying us, well, I mean, what well, shit? You ain't paying me. Yeah, that that no, that's we, bothering me in we itself. Ain't about that. Valentine's for both. I agree. It's, it could be a fun thing. Keisha, more women need to. Uh, why did Retail this become dance. a topic? Yeah, just cause of you. Oh, my, I didn't say nothing about no Valentine's Dude, Day. Just cause of you. Sweetie's Day Detroit style. Sweetie's actually supposed to be for men. Four, four. Okay, we need y'all to call four, back. Four. You know, thanks a lot, Kenyon. Oh, wait, We've had it? two calls, both from Kenyon. We still got our number one Black History. Uh, our number one on the list. We still got four. one more. One on the list. Go ahead. Who's you? My number one on the list. God. Because God's an African American. Because God is black oh, okay. as the ace of spades. We didn't say black. God, we, we did say black. Well, American. I don't believe in that word. I'm not Doesn't African American. Okay, African is in Africa, Stop and it. America is Stop here where Stop they stole it. us because American Stop means theft. Now, you listen to a song. Theft. That's right. You listen to The Homeless by KRS One. Okay. He said, You can't call yourself right, Afro American. Right. The last one I had left for real. 
Marcus Garvey. I call you a nigger. Marcus Garvey. I definitely do that. Who is? John Rivers. Oh, John Rivers. We got What's another up? call. Strike up pole. Strike from California. Give it to us. Don't you say strike. What's up? Who's that number one? Come on, guys. What's that, my brother? Who's the number one? Well, mine is God. God. Oh, is, exactly. God. That, let's see. He agrees. God is not. God is not African American, dude. God is that. If you want to use that word, God is black. God, Everything came from that black. We're going through this again. God is not African American. Well, God, well, the, the hell he's not. God is everything. So God's a person. God is, well. On a calendar. According to the uh, nation, the no, I'm, I'm asking you. So God is a person? Uh, absolutely. Not you, John. I'm talking God to you. is every. I'm talking about the creator of this not what world. You, that's not, that's well, not and look, man, I've never seen him. I've talked to him a lot, you but, know, you know, he I haven't man. seen him yet. He taught, listen. He <laughs> help you, now, you man. see, this is this is violence oh, upon this nigger let's 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 among talk, God man. violence. Let John talk, man. Go ahead, John. Don't strike me. Spike Lee? Spike Lee. Back on him. Okay. If you think about it, how many people have you brought to the table of entertainment? That's what I'm saying. That's my that's my good thing for Spike. He's brought a ton of folks yeah. to the table. That's his. That's a good point. Thing. That's a good. I I, I will she's give y'all that. Have it till I agree. Now, and she's got to have it. It's being developed right now again for Netflix. Beautiful. Yeah, that's the one that he that he won't let uh, Chrisette Michelle. Song be on the soundtrack so because she sung at Trump, and that's why Spike Probably Lee can get he's number one oh, in it, my man. book. I, I guess I guess Spike his credit. Man, look, man, this dude had uh, uh, George Romero on his top ten. That's right, so, George A. Romero, Romero because in every one of George A. Romero's movie, he let the black man live. Not just a black man, but the last person to live in all of his movies was the only black man in the movie. But every movie Spike ever made, the black man Actually, lived. neither living dead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Every movie Spike ever made, the black man lived. So Everybody is just number niggas in the movie. So, they lived. It's a zombie movie. You have a color, fool. No horror, no horror. Spike Lee is not a horror movie man. Well, he's a horror himself. That's what he is. <laughs> and a, and, we got a horror, man. Thank and you and for a Hey, Aida said Fred G. Sanford. He was number 11. I'm, I almost did that, Aida. Don't, don't that is a great. Don't call this dude no five that seven, is man. a great. No, I'm not. That's I'm a, a straight. I'm a hundred percent. I'm a hundred percent. I am a hundred percent black, look, look, and you look, are look, look, a foul stop, stop stop nigger. Now. Check it out. Uh, for those who've been waiting, and you've been waiting a while, take uh, take my hat off to you. For the parents out there, for the coaches out there, for the people. Who's your number a one? A big topic. You didn't say your number I was, one. I said Marcus Garvey a long time ago. I'm done with it. That was Move your number one. Topic. No, I don't. I didn't rank them. Man, would you? Can we move on? I wish he'd have took Seriously, you. Seriously, can we move on? I wish he'd have took can you. Can we move on? I'll move something. Can we move on? <laughs> I'll move something. Thank you. Now, and, and I don't need no tissue. AU either. basketball has Wipe went on from you. being something that elite few athletes play to coaches and everybody cashing in on these kids, cashing in on these move parents. Move something. Move year something. Year round, all over the place. Now, I know Keisha's, you know, daughters went through it. I don't know if Carmela's with us right now. Mm -hmm. She's got with three daughters playing college basketball, mm -hmm. at least two or three. Anybody who has any Shit's experience. Good. In that with their kids, because you know this is things. It takes up weekends. It takes up time for a lot of folks. It's a money grab here in Metro Atlanta. There's so many parents that think their kid is the next whoever that they spend all the big time, time money, money grab pushing these kids into this big money grab. Uh, on our video, we put a clip of it of Isaiah, uh, Chris Weber, Steve Smith, Dennis Scott. A lot of folks speaking about the good and of AAU basketball. If anyone. Anyone's got any topics, or, you know, any, any thoughts on that? For sure, way in. I see Dante is there. For sure, way in. One, John, man, great call. What do you think? I'm going to tell you like this for me. My son has been playing. I pulled him out of AU because I think they don't really work on the skills. I think there's a whole lot of folks pushing them. Uh, well, maybe it's just they that play team. Games all the, no, this is, this is the system. They play games all the time. They charge parents like crazy. I don't necessarily think it's a good setup because you got kids playing on travel teams that are six, seven years old. Their life is basketball. Parents take them on the weekend. It's playing tournaments all the time. 
all the time. And I think that there's a whole lot more sports that we as parents can expose our kids to, they can get scholarships for. You got 300 million people competing for 300 jobs. Well, you know what? I don't That's have... part of it. And here's my thing. Keisha I, went in, Dante went I don't in. Don't, have you, a don't problem. Have call 404. But they scared to call. 697 And tell us what you think on that. Listen, I don't have a Arnie, problem. You there, call all me. the six and seven-year-olds playing. And I don't have a problem with them playing all those multiple games. Because you can get a personal trainer or whatever if Did you really want your child to learn. And you could go that way. You got to look at the they AU for what it is. You're taking them around, they get in the play, they're having fun. My problem nah, is when you start having scouts in the goddamn audience <laughs> for eight and nine year olds and start talking about, oh, this kid is going to be the next such and such and such and such, right. and you planting them crazy ass seeds in their head at seven and she eight brought up a good point. when they can't even read and goddamn she, right. She has a kid. I was told my daughter didn't get picked up from Big Ten school because I didn't have her on AU. Sometimes well, it's hit see, that's, that's deranged. Aaron hit a hell of a point. High school basketball has completely suffered because the most important coach in your life is no longer your high school coach. It's about the AU. And let me tell you why I got a problem with AU now. 80s, 90s AU, the very best players got invited, they played. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's whoever. They call the AU. Was him whoever paid. Money. Whoever paid. I agree with that. coaches taking their sons. Now, coaches used to be teachers. Coaches used to be role models in the community. Coaches used to be people who wanted to really help young folks. Nowadays, it's somebody so they can make some money. I can get 10 parents. I can sell them on a dream. I can, I can spend, tell them $500 each. We're going to fire the gym. I'm going to rent the gym for $80. And I'm going to just make money off of it. Because when we're going to see our six, seven, eight year olds play, we can charge $8 a pop. And if it's a tournament weekend, <laughs> they're getting it every day. Let's say you got some more kids you bring in. Them too. Okay, the traveling teams too. All of that, man. Yeah, I heard about the six, six, twelve year old Ipsy. I, I heard about that. It's been in the free press, but at the same time, he might have a legitimate shot. But you'd be shocked how many three foot six, twelve year olds in here doing this AAU thing year round. That really think something's gonna happen. They don't work on their skill set. They're just out there running. It's just pay for these tournaments. They don't really practice. It's just about scrimmage. Well, it's almost like Santa Claus. You got to you, know? you got to sit there and tell these kids, okay, look. Did you just equate this to Santa Claus? That's right. Does you tell you tell them. To Santa well, you said it was a joke, and I'm I'm getting ready to show you why. Okay. You sit them down. You I tell know, them, look, you just doing this for fun. You just having, you know, you're this not going fun. to the NBA. Is, you're not. You just going. You're you. going to get out there. You're going to play a bunch of games, and you're just going to go out and you're going to have some fun. This is what you tell your kid okay so when the kid gets out and get the plan then maybe they will enjoy it a little bit more or they won't be so fucked up into thinking that you know somebody's looking at me on somebody high, at nine is looking level, at me it's so funky that a kid can be on one au team on friday they get a pair of some money on another one on saturday then another one on sunday they miss the hell of schools they always in vegas always in orlando Always well, traveling. that's the parents' fault. Don't know now, nothing. that's, that's, you can't Dante, blame me. No, that's no, the parents' no, no, fault. No, no. Dante, if, the, if that's the link, y'all need to hit this link in the comments. I'll put the link in another one. Um, Aaron says, my cousin, man, you nice playing overseas has pros and cons. I agree that's with that. True. But, that's true. Aaron, we're not talking about, I'm not talking about high school level AU. I think the bad outweighs the I'm good. I'm talking about the children AU. But, I'm talking about housing the children and you not teaching them skills and not having people. But some their, of them are teaching them. The majority, the majority are not. Now I will agree. I don't think the, the majority are. Of your the child. majority of them, they want money. The majority is either making money or they want to pimp your child to another position. A lot of these commits that's to true. different colleges where people were never going before, that's because they hired the AU coach. Yeah, but see, John, you thing. can't use Serena and Venus no. as, as that example that their because their father personally sat down and taught and them every them damn thing they knew. We're talking about somebody who may have seen Venus and Serena at four or five rope the They weren't the exploited by an out, you know, outside entity yeah. or whatnot. Yeah. You know. Call, oh, da see, Dante's got some great stuff. But this whole AU thing, you know. Um, it what up, Tommy? Its, it does have its pros and cons. Uh, you know what? Our producer actually wants to call, so call in, producer. I can't call. Yes, you can. I can't call myself. Man, come, oh, just yeah, come over right. and talk. Well, to speak it out loud. <laughs> speak your question out loud. Yeah, we got our producer is in the house, and she is getting ready to uh, say what she got to say. So just damn listen. Uh, it's, it's not so much as me being against it. 
Uh, coming from Chicago, I've grown up with a lot of ball players. A lot of them have gone on to college. I know several that have gone on to uh, play in the NBA. I know too. I have a really good friend that you know plays for. He coaches a Pac-12 school, and he informed me Who's that school? I, I'm not going to say that. He informed me that AAU today is not really good for the kids because it just basically tears their bodies up. And, it, you know, you have a lot of them that are paying to get in. But like he stated back in the day when they were playing AAU ball, and we all come, well, I don't know about you guys, but I come from, you know, mm -hmm. impoverished area. And mm -hmm. they didn't have the money to play AAU. But they were so good that people came up with the money for them to play AAU. And it wasn't to the extent and on the level as it is today with them playing every day, every other day, no practice. Practice. They still had time to do other things. It just today he said it's more of a money grab. Call back, Casey, and the kids don't get, get you know no the fun, they don't get the fundamentals. They don't, they don't practice at they all. Get the they get no fundamentals. John made a good point. Snoop's football team does great things for the youth. I There's always say, exceptions. No, I'm not gonna call that exception. I'm gonna tell you why I don't like that. From having this uh, call back, Keisha to come through. A lot of football is not made to be played six, seven months a year. And we had some kids down here that started doing that traveling football, serious injuries at 11, 12 years old. Well, Dante, Dante said as a parent, you have you to control, control your child's AAU lot, environment. But, but what she said, I don't think you can parents, do that in most cases. A lot of parents cases. are not in a situation to do that. Yeah. Dante is a you had, You'd have to be a dad. coach. He's an excellent dad. You'd have to be but a coach it, it, it or a coordinator of an AAU as a parent in, in order to do that. And people sell them on a dream. 404-697-7048. Lamont, I know you want to coach your scene, man. Please call the way in, man. You I know, Lamont, you are you know? a key figure in all of this. God damn it. Really? You know, all of you, uh, listen, don't interrupt me anymore. I just, really. I just don't. Like, do you even know what Lamont coaches? I really don't care for you. Do you coach know football, you nigga. And what else? Football. Thank you. Yeah. No, keep going. Okay, so do you have something to show? Well, I mean, you know, let's. Well, Dante said, yeah, you can't. Well, Dante, no, Dante, I'm not saying that you can't control the environment, but I'm saying in order to do that, you have to be a coach or a coordinator. You have to be directly involved. Other than that, how are you going to uh, coordinate something or and, control environment of AAU and you team right that a coach his and in. his people are just taking and doing whatever they're doing because you at work and, and this, that, and the other. Now, job. in your situation, you probably do control it because well, Dante's Dante, a coach, right? No, but he's an athlete, and he's got the kind of time mm -hmm. he can do that. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Right. And look up. Dante is an exception to the game. This case. Well, there's always exceptions. Oh, the, oh Dante. He's Dante here. right here. here I'm sitting up at the. What's up, Antoine? Deacon Wood is in the house. No, you have a what up, Antoine? Uh, I mean, who is this? Dante? Dante Strike up pose, Dante. Dude, yeah. Yeah, up. but, you know, as a parent, man, you got to control that that environment, man, whether your child was playing AAU, uh, you know, youth football. Uh, or what have you, as much as you possibly can. As far as the, the year-round football, I think that's kind of idiotic. Mm -hmm. You know, a child's body, you know what I'm saying, or even an adult, an adult, an adult's body can't right. take that, you know what I'm saying, constant yeah. pounding, you know what I'm saying, over a period of so many months. Right. As far as the basketball, I think a lot of coaches, yeah. as well as parents, have gotten away from the fact that, you know, uh, Sports should be fun first. We'll call you back, you know? Keisha, just the same way. So you, mm -hmm. you have to, you know, you got to find a team, man, that's, that's best for your child. You can't just throw him on any team. But let's, let's you know? say this, though, man. You're in a position, you know, not to speak on your business, but you're in a position to really be able to do that. A lot of mm -hmm. folks can't. Keisha, we're going to call you back. We have someone on the line here. So a lot of people, they got to just take got what's there and it's available to them, mm -hmm. and they're not able to do that. Because Dante has been a benefit personally to me, let me know about what programs go work, what's not, because he has the time and the ability to be able to research that, see that. So he's been a help to me. But everybody, everybody may not be able to do that. That's Thank you, I'm Lamont. Saying. I'm glad to be back. Okay, go I got to save this show. Because that shit he pulled last week, we're not going to have that again. And Lamont, we had a great show, man. No, we didn't. And Lamont was part of it. Well, so uh, Lamont teacher, saved the too. show. Thank you, Lamont, for uh, what you did last okay. week. What What's up, Sheldon? Sheldon? 
Yeah, he's better. He's horrible. You know, but listen, you know, Dante, a lot of people, most parents, when you, I mean, it's easy to say that they need to control their environment. They can't. They were saying that Snoop does great things. They can't. Most of them can't. He exploits kids with that year-round football. Well, yeah, Antoine, when you talk about year-round, we just talking about AAU and stuff like that right now. All right, Keisha's here. We got Keisha in the house. Daughter just signed a letter. Strike up, Poe. Go ahead, Keisha. My experience was, um, my kids were young, um, I had both kids in the AAU, and what I saw, I took my daughter out early, was that the coaches would focus on the older kids, not the younger kids. Mm -hmm. Um, The older kids had to actually try out, and the younger kids were just, you know, accepted, and they were being trained by other teenagers or other parents, so they took our money, and they got Mm -hmm. to travel with the older kids, and I think I came out like 2000, or 12, 2000. Damn. For like uh, five months. And that, that was, was a travel team? And all that type of stuff. That was a travel team? Didn't even, huh? That was a travel team you're talking about with the 2000? That was just a uh, local team. Yeah, that was a travel. It was like AAU and travel. Okay. Um, how, yeah. how old were the younger kids? The younger kids went from six, six to 18. And you had to pay, you had to pay the same fee for the younger ones, like the six-year-olds, then yeah. for like the 16-year-olds? You got to pay the yeah. games after you pay all that. Now, see, that's yeah. crazy yeah. as it's hell. Like, um, the whole nine. I took my daughter out of it, and I was told that because I took her out at a young age, it um, kind of hurt because she wasn't being seen. I- I'll say this. There's been seniors here, like a guy signed with Cal, uh, like number one recruit couple years ago, his first round pick by Boston this year, his name escaped me. He didn't start playing at AU until 11th grade. And we had another guy, Kaiser Gates, he's a sophomore at Xavier. He played for the Atlanta Celtics. That's the biggest AU team here. That's like the family. He was going in and out of it too. And they said it helped them to be able to work on their game instead of being bothered with AU. Because you know, you don't, at least here, you don't work on your game in AU. You just playing games. But you never get a chance to really refine your skill set. You know, so I guess it go both ways, you know. Oh, we got a we got another major major city. Oh, we got like that a lot of kids were coming like the rich, rich white kids. The kids were coming from different. Hey, whoever's states. calling, right. we gonna call you right back. Whoever's calling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it probably does depend on where you are. That makes a whole lot of sense. Whole lot of sense. So, are you pro pro A? You or anti? What you think? Are you gone? Oh, Keisha's gone. Okay. All right. Well, Keisha, type in. Let's know. Are you? If you did it all over again, would you put him in AU? And we had another caller called. Our producers calling you back right now. Got him. Now, y'all want to call? Because what we're doing right now, we're on. See, and that proves my Instagram. point. That Black History shit didn't mean nothing. No. Okay. Your, your they want to call for AAU. What's up, Lamont? Strike a pose, frat. What up, Lamont? What's up, Lamont? What's going on, fellas? What's happening, Hey, we good, man. Good to be on the show, man. First of all, let me yeah. say rest in peace, brother Rizard. Yeah. yeah, man. We de- we was going to say something right at the end that. of the show. We yeah, had a couple of people okay. speak on Rod, man. That was your sense, too, man. So, mm-hmm. you know, man, God man. bless, man. I'm anti-tool, Antoine. I just, want, I just want to weigh in on the um, AAU for a minute, if you guys don't mind. For sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, well, um, the kids that I normally pick up from AAU, they lack fundamentals. Thank you. And, and they usually play round the clock, parents play $1,200, $1,300 a season. Versus my park team, mm-hmm. the kids play $100 to play. Oh, and, we, and we run wing, wings around them. We need to find y'all. Wow. <laughs> we need to find y'all. <laughs> so, it, it, like, like one of the callers said and one of the texts said, it is a money grabber. Yep. You know, it's definitely a money grabber. You know if your kid don't have it or not. Yep. Get your kid a personal trainer and let your personal trainer be real with you. Thank you. And that's what I said earlier. Get but, a personal trainer. You know, see, a lot of them are doing both. That's what we saying. Because the personal trainers, man, a lot of them... Well, if you got one that does both, I'm trying to agree with They're not going to turn down 75, 150 hour either. A lot of these former pro players here, they training these kids out here. They charge them and they get 150, 200 hour from these and, parents. And they, mm. char- and they charge And my son yep. plays travel baseball. Mm-hmm. But they're giving a break. 
Yep. On, on the lessons, the catching lessons, yep. the batting lessons, and things like that. Mm -hmm. you know, but, but they're willing to work with you. But if your if your child stinks, they're gonna mm -hmm. take your money and, and, and blow your head. That's, that's right. That's right. That's <laughs> right. No, no, I've seen it all the time. But the kids at AAU ball is nothing against them. But they just like the fundamentals. Right. At AAU basketball, the kids are getting trapped in the corners. They're not bringing the ball down the middle of the floor. You know, those are just basic things. Yeah. Like the coach is just getting that money, man, and not not teaching the kids the proper. Technique. And they're not even trying to teach them fundamentals. They're just trying to play them games for them tournaments and make their money. Hey, we appreciate line. that, Bottom man. Line. Excellent. We call appreciate it. That's a great call. Excellent. And you know, the hold piggyback. On, hold on, hold on. Kim hit a point that I, I've been making all this time. Kim hit. I'm going to just read it word for word. Exactly. That's what black priorities are. If it was a health and wellness show, people wouldn't call either, but seriously. Check this out. A lot of us. Yeah, hell no. People, you know what I'm saying? When I say this, man. But no, that's because so most sports, people are fat. There's so many other sports your five foot eight kid can play. It ain't restricted to just basketball and football. And get a tennis scholarship, a golf scholarship. They can swim. They can wrestle. They can play baseball. But everybody's like, well, I don't got the next Kobe or the next, you know, uh, Cam Newton. That's it. No, I think. Look at your child. Hey, that flip, man. Start over. Okay. Look at your child. See what may work for them oh, and dope. go from there. Yeah. Yeah. I think that what I think that what Kim was saying was that because I had said that oh when it was Black History Month didn't nobody want to call but now they want to call for AAU but I think what Kim was saying was that if it was a health and wellness show they wouldn't call in either you know which is which is true because that's why I, Kim that's why you got so many big fat sloppy yeah. dirty ass people really? walking around here who don't have any respect Dante for self. Said, uh, Dante said something about good, right? fundamentals if you're a parent not making sure your child is getting skill development. And that's where that personal but trainer you comes can in. literally chill out with the ball playing and get some help. You know, it, it's hard doing both. Um, Antoine Dante said, hey, you're supposed to be serious, not rec league, but it's Ram Bush League when you're dealing with these young kids. <laughs> Antoine says, it kills me when parents spend <laughs> all these chips when the child just sucks. <laughs> bruh, that's right. <laughs> bruh, you just... And the I AAU, and they ain't gonna tell them nothing because they gonna take kids, that money. And, the, and the, you, the, you can see on the kids' face they don't want to be there. The kids don't want to be there. The parents on the side, parents like, just crazy, kicking them in the ass. Crazy. This some bitch making straight F's, and they still don't matter. Crazy. You know they coming out that money. Keisha, small town, throwing the ball it, over the backboard. It could be good shit. In a small town, Jimmy, a small town. Honestly, you gonna get better coach. Mm -hmm. You got people that's there investing in the community. So they actually are going to actually work with the kids. Oh, look at what ah, Keisha said. Oh, I'm lady. gonna that's right. throw up. I was a black history teacher. But that's right. And it's all Keisha. Good. And guess what? Our Black History Month was from start of school September to May. Which means that you follow. And Beautiful. I forgot I was a big influence on him at the time. Is don't she from Inkster? Don't you believe that? At Is she all. was she from Inkster? <laughs> Don't you? Yes, but don't you? Okay. Believe well, we you should be on SM uh, Syrac. Well, you then she connect. ought to. She ought to remember me then. Man. Damn it, I was there, yeah, and stop. he. I was a big influence on him at Never the time, like, Keisha. I. I so really. Waiting, all I we got is sports and entertainment. The Jay Z go. No, we think all we got is sports and entertainment. That's right. That's right. That's what we think, but we brainwash. Well, so I, as a We're man or a woman thinker, because the five hundred, so seven hundred, or four thousand hours your kid puts in practicing a jumper, imagine they put in three hundred studying something. They should even have a full ride, but they can still play a sport. I take my hat off to Dante not to put his business out there, but his son has all A's, has A's, straight A's in Mandarin Chinese. That's a good thing, and he playing ball. So his thing is a little bit different. But if you put the time in on the academics, you'll get way more. What was that you said? Because folks yeah, think it's easy. They think it's easy to be a college athlete. It's not. Mandarin. Mandarin Chinese. What's that? Okay, anyway. <laughs> well, uh, goddamn, I ask a question because I don't know. You know and then he don't want to tell me. Then he want to call me you, dumb. You never heard. I didn't call you nothing. I know what a Mandarin let's, orange let's, is. Let's, let's I thought it was a study in fruit. Let's cross the momentum and pretend you don't know. The I did, language. No, I just meant you said Mandarin. That's I thought you were talking science or fruit or you, something. That's what you thought. Well, I'm a mandarin you orange. I I've talking. eaten a mandarin orange let's before. Stop it, man. let's stop you know, it. I mean, shit. Yeah, let's try and get some Detroit love. I've, I've eaten a Chinese man. before too. You know, but that's pretty much it on the. On, she was cute. I on the topic, I'm getting to with my producer. How many of you all seen Charles Oakley go bananas? That was nasty, in Madison wasn't Square it? Garden. This is pure comedy. How many of you all saw Charles Oakley 
lose his mind when security ran up with him. His he face, looked, he looked, looked like a beaten old he man. Popped on and he still head. whooped their ass. But I say this though, <laughs> I say this, he got played. Him and the next yep. owner, I guess, have been beefing for years. This dude bought his tickets off StubHub, came in and sat down, and they straight from his version, they surrounded him. They did. Now the Knicks said he they sent the rental cops over there back. and just but it's, it's cameras all hell. through the garden. No one shows any of this. They straight dragged Oakley out. Oh, they took about seven. It was like they were just trying to lift it. Well, you oh, know, the point gone. that they wanted to make, too, was that everybody around there like had turned around, and they was looking up at him, and they was looking, at, you know, they was like, what the hell's going on? Dolan, oh, who was legend. sitting down, Dolan never turned around. No, he because he knew no. what was going on no, back there. No, they showed Dolan jump up and look. Dolan didn't want him in there. And then Dolan turned around and sat back because he knew because he sent the motherfuckers Dol up Dol there. Dolan is the Knicks owner, and Oakley has been critical of him. And Dolan just didn't want him in there. Nick and Charles, y'all should I Google that you, shit. I wouldn't even buy tickets if they're gonna play me like that. And I'm a legend because you got this. He big should never have to buy a ticket. Seven life. foot old gray haired man just disrespectful. whooping their ass for a minute, now, and then they on, had now. to mob up now, on him. And Charles, then you know, Charles Oakley. <laughs> That's a big son bitch. We'll mob you, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, will. yeah. Who'd he slap up? Was it Jalen? He slapped up somebody. Man. Shit, he, he slapped he, up. He got to dude. him and Charles Barkley stayed oh, fighting. Oh, Barkley better run. Barkley better run from him, man. Oakley's out of his mind. Yeah. Oakley's out of his mind. He tried to grab his dude by the neck. What, what are you saying? Oh, Gail said who was Charles Oakley. Gail White, um, you ought to be Gail. ashamed. I, well, I, I know you do that. Just, just, just hit our page and hit with the option. You will see Oakley. Gail, you Powerful. should be flogged. Powerful. You know? Okay. But hey, man, it's been real. We've enjoyed ourselves with you all. Hope you've enjoyed yourself. We need y'all to call more. Oh, God we damn cool. it. We cool. Do this. We still love I you, know Gail. Sometimes language is hard. Don't be sorry. I know that. We want you to share this <laughs> Tommy, video. Tommy, that's not nice. Hold on a second. Share this video. Let some folks see it because we're trying to grow Please this. share it. We're trying to grow this. <laughs> yes, the sports topic, Kim. We're talking about, oh, Kim, you an athlete. Kim, yeah, Kim, I need you this. to call on the yeah, health and wellness me. tip. But share this. I'm, if you at work, wait. Tag some people. Gail said I might like the flaw. Tag some people, Ooh. right? Uh-oh. Uh, tag some folks. Let them S and M. Bring no, I ain't gonna sing the rest of that. What? What do you think? What? I, Two Live Crew I, is I, Black History yeah, Month. We bring time, all the perspect uh, spectrums of black. Yeah, and, and exactly. Oh, Dante just posted. So if you want to see up and get busy, put it there. But we just talking about folks sharing, and that's what you want to Thanks see. Thanks a lot, Keisha, Thank you, and all y'all share the video. Because I do know this. Excuse his mouth. Last week. His language. When y'all went there, we got a record. He went there, we got a record amount of shares. Oh, and I know some God. of that's for his unnecessary profanity. Please, just, yeah. Overall, Thanks for this. all five of y'all who but, shared last week's oh, yeah, show. Shared. We yeah, really appreciate years. it. We really appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you years, very man. much. But let folks know about for show radio. Before we go, want to hit on a serious topic. We really didn't touch it because some of you did comment on it, but a lot of us, at least in the Eastern family, we lost a dear friend, a good brother, a comical brother, uh, a couple nights ago. Some of you may have seen on the news, FedEx driver, you know, killed by just an out-of-control driver. Brother was Rob Motley, you know, I knew him. Good guy. Did not know him as well as the Carlin's other fraternity brothers. So I'm just, you know, deepest condolences to Rob, his family, you know, his wife, his children. And just really to touch on from a more personal angle, I'm just going to, you know, turn it over to the Cardinal. I mean, you know, we see these tragedies on the news all the time, and it doesn't really hit home until it hits home. You know, and Rod Motley, he's one of my fraternity brothers. He was. The first one that I brought into the fraternity mm -hmm. that I we have was called personal. Somebody that we personally, you know, kind of mentor and bring into our family within a family. And he was the wow. first one that, you know, I brought into, you know, my family. So, you know, Lamont called about him. Lamont was his yeah. sans. He, <clears throat> he pledged with him. Right. <laughs> and, you know, it was, you know, I was heartbroken when I heard about it a few nights ago. And, um, you know, it's just, you know, it's, it's a it's a rough thing, man, and it's sad, and his family and, oh, wow. you know, and friends and everybody is just, you know, is really shook up. And, you know, man, it's just, we all have to deal with this, yeah. but 
you know, it, it's, it's, it's sad to say, but we get desensitized sometimes when it happens to other people mm -hmm. because we see so much of it, you know. But when it's your family, your friends, your loved ones, close ones, then it, you know, it takes on a whole new meaning. It was just so senseless. You know? I mean, this person was running from another accident. She yeah. caused middle of the afternoon, T-bones his, his FedEx truck. Right. Um, if anybody has anything, you know, they want to say, you know, as far as condolences, I mean, please feel free to call right now. 404-697-7048, we put you on. You know, we get out a few seconds. I ain't going to cut you off. No, it's good, man. It's good. It's just, you know, man, it's, it's just senseless, man. And it's yeah. like, you know. When, uh, you know, my son's Aaron, you know, who watches the show a lot, he, you know, he called and he told me about it. And, you know, and I couldn't even say anything for a minute, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah, it's, it's just unbelievable. And when I saw the news footage of it um, the next day where they actually had Rod's face on the screen, you know, and all that it, it it really then it takes on a whole nother identity. Yeah, it's like because then it's, it's like wow, and this will do, he's it's real. Impossible. It's impossible to think about him without seeing a smile on his face. Always that, trying to make just, people laugh. He was just pure joy comedian. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? All time. So, you know, for real. You know, it's, it's, it's a heavy loss. They all heavy, but it's a heavy loss, man. You know, and just just Rest in peace, really. You rest in peace, rest in heaven, yeah. all that good stuff. Look, I, you know, we don't get to tell y'all all the time. We'll tell you right now, for all y'all out there, man, for Show Radio family, we love y'all, man. We love y'all because you never know. You never we know. Ne we never know, you man. Never know. So I mean, we, we wild it. and crazy on yeah. here, you know, but I mean, it. you know, we definitely love y'all. Uh -huh. You know, I kind of love this guy behind me, you know. But um, Look you know, we've back. been we've we've been doing this for a while, and, then, and we you know, to take it to the next level, and we want y'all to come with us today. So share, tag, let folks know, man, we love you too, my for real. Yeah, him and Charity are kicking ass. Another good friend, we love. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh, Antoine called. You got okay. Antoine on the line. Call. Okay, we got one. We got one more call. Deacon Wood, what's, what's up, up, my brother? I was calling with five, but y'all got to the start of a moment, so I'm going to just say my piece, man. I'm sorry to hear that about you, brother. Appreciate that, <laughs> my brother. Appreciate you. Definitely senseless. Um, we have a we have a major problem with individuals believing that they are Superman and can do whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even even Super Bowl Eve, y'all saw that we had took an Uber back home. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A Super Bowl night. Right, but right. It, that's right. It, it's real out here, you know. You're taking lives, and it's always somebody that's not drunk that's gonna die. Mm -hmm. And it's it's and that's that sad, man. He it, just he just sad. Did his job. Yeah, he you know, packages, man. because he's he's at work, and you know, hey, I'm a mailman, so you know, yeah, you I I definitely understand that game of just being out there amongst the public, just riding, doing my job, and then you know, you go. Yeah. None of us, you know, we never know. What's you know up, what I'm Lord saying? Yeah, you cousin. But yeah. yeah. Man, but I'm back in Atlanta. I'm gonna yes, be on sir. Set these nights. One of these Friday nights, I'm gonna be right on set. Watch y'all do it. Man, work. Deacon work, Wood, man. you are the man. <laughs> you are one of two church members that I have right now. You and Deacon Cradell Walton. Don't let him put that on you, man. Trust me, my brother. Don't let him put that on you. You are welcome to on. come on in anytime you want, sir. And if you want to sit in this chair right here, please, for God's sake, because I could use another co-host. I, I, this 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 man is a disgrace. Do we drink next week? Yes, we do drink next week. All right, man, great call, great call. Uh, one Appreciate y'all, man. Last week we had a great discussion about homeschool. Let's keep talking about A great about discussion about week. public school, homeschool, private school. We had a great discussion. Um, what happens on what Tuesday, Wednesday? I get at you, Lamont. Betsy DeVos comes in office. <laughs> now we're gonna close it today. <laughs> But next week, and we know next week is Me's Happy Hour. Put your favorite adult beverage together. We're going to sit down and kick it. We're going to talk about this. And I see Arnie Chambers with us, Esquire Counselor Arnie Chambers. He's had some incredible insights on Facebook. So I'm really hoping he calls next talk week. Talk about health and wellness. Time just, I look um, up, this brother running in a marathon. Going on. Let's do that, man. So, you know, hey, from For Show Radio, Friday night, February 10th. Hey, we love y'all. Peace. 
We'll see you soon. Hey, John, we really enjoyed you, man. Love to see you next week. Strike a pole. Take care, y'all.